morning, Langley Leopards. Today, for Art with Mrs. Jones, we're just going to do a simple plant drawing today. Um, if you're in fourth and fifth grade and you want to draw a still life, like a plant from your home, you can absolutely do that. And that's when you draw something from real life and you look at it and you try to make it exactly like that. Or, um, if you're a little one, you can just draw a plant from your imagination or something you've seen and just try to make it as creative as you want. So the first thing we're going to do to draw this object is you are going to draw a pot that your plant is going to um, sit in. So I want you to draw the bottom first of your pot. So you want to start kind of at the bottom of your paper and I want you to make a curved line and of course your pot does not have to look just like my pot so curve your line so that it doesn't look flat because your pot is not flat it has plants sitting in it so then i'm going to curve this part up and now i'm going to curve my line here all right and then i'm going to put like a little edge of my plant so this is the bottom and this is also the bottom. And now I'm just going to start doing some plants. And I'm not going to really try to make any real life plants. I'm just going to have fun with it and I'm just going to do some leaves. But I want to take up all of this space because we talked about in third, fourth, and fifth grade negative space and how that's that empty space that's not taken up. So we don't want to have a lot of negative space today. We want really interesting positive space. So I'm going to make like a stem of my plant and look how it's going off my page and then I'm gonna make some just plain old leaves. Mine are gonna be pointy but of course yours do not have to be pointy. All right and then I'm gonna do another wavy line to the top. Now this time we're gonna do some overlapping and when I say overlapping I'm talking about when something is in front of something else. So right now, this leaf is in front of this leaf. That's why you can see all of this one. So you can try to do some overlapping. Okay. All right, and I'm going to do, and look how my leaves are going off the page. And that's just going to make this really, really interesting. So I'm going to take up all my space and I'm going to go off the page. I think I'm going to have a couple more overlapping. All right. Okay, now this one's going to go off like this one, and this one. And you can just do your plants, where, your leaves, wherever you want. Yours do not have to look just like mine if you want to, to make them have flowers in your plant, you can. Um, I do want you to draw this line right here, and that's called your horizon line, and that's showing you that your table's not floating in the air. That's showing you that it's sitting on the table. So you see that? All right. And then, of course, you can add some patterns and designs inside your pot and your table and even the wall if you want to make it really, really interesting. So when it's done, it could look something like this. And this is just mine. Yours does not have to look like mine. I'm really anxious to see what really cool plants you guys are doing. My stepson Aiden is making his right now. I'm gonna upload his in a little bit. So just make sure your pot is really, really big. Make sure you have a curved line so that it doesn't look flat. You can close the it, that back line right there that shows that your, your um, plant sitting in the pot. Um, have fun today. I miss you. I love you. I hope you guys are doing great. And we'll do something else tomorrow. Love you. Miss you. Bye.